I realise that some of us are finding it a little bit difficult getting to grips with our database project, so I've decided to make a few videos to take us right back from the start for you to follow as I show you what to do in order to uh, get on with this project a little bit better. So the first thing we need to do, we're going to go right back to downloading our access file, which everybody has managed to do, but you may want to get a new one and start again, just in case you feel like maybe you've made a, a bit of a mess of your database so far. So in order to do this, we go to Google Classroom, enter the uh, Movie Magic database project. In order to download the access database file, that's what ACCDB means, it's really important that we right click on the link, open in a new tab, and then you can download it. So let's do that. I'm going to right click, open in a new tab, and see a tab appears up here. And once that's loaded, it will give me a download button. And it will download my access file here. Now, before you click on this, click on the little arrow to the side, click on show in folder, and it will show you that your downloaded access file in your downloads. If you right click on that and cut, we're going to move it to our documents. So let's go into this PC, go into your documents folder and go to your subjects folder which you should have, computing, and we're going to make a new folder. So I'm going to right click, new folder, call it databases, Let's double click to go in there, right click and paste your fresh database file in there. Now we can close Chrome and we're ready to start working in Access. So double click on Movie Magic and that loads our database file. Now there's not much to look at to start with. Uh, but if you look on the left, we've got tables, and there's an actors table and a films table. And to see them, we just double click, and it opens them up, each in their own tab. So we can see we've got lots of information about actors here. We've got several fields, the actor ID number, their first name, their surname, date of birth, their gender, their nationality. Each field will have its own data type that it accepts. And the same is true for films. We've got a film ID field film name field, year of release, and each row is a record, so we've got all the data about one film in each row there, or an actor in our actors table. Now your first task that you were set was to add a new field to the actors table uh, that could include uh, some Twitter usernames for each of these actors. So to do that we would need to change the design of the table to add a field. So we're going to go to view, and we're going to go not data sheet, which is what we're looking at now, but the design view. Inside the design view, you will see each of the fields and their associated data types for our table. To add a new one, just click at the bottom, type a field name, so Twitter name, and choose a data type. By default, it will choose short text. We could have long text, number, date or time, currency, but short text is probably the most appropriate. Once we've done that, we can go back to our data sheet view and we'll be asked if we want to save our changes. Yes, we do. And now, here's our actors table with a new Twitter name field column. So, we need to get some Twitter data. So, the best place is probably is just to go straight onto Google and see what we can find. So, let's have a look. I'm going to try and find some data for let's say Johnny Depp. Well, he hasn't got a... does he have an H? Let's get it right, he does. Johnny Depp, Twitter. And there we go, Real Depp is his Twitter account. Let's click on that to see. And there's his username there, so we can right click... oops, if I'll select it right click, copy. It's actually probably not his real one because it says Johnny Depp fan account but it'll do for our database. 
So let's go into Johnny Depp's row, or his record, and we can paste at real Depp. And there we go, we've added a new Twitter field, and we've added some data to one of our records. So your job now is to go and uh, do the same thing to your actors table and add some Twitter usernames for the first few actors, let's say the first 10 actors. Then move on to the second video where we're going to create a table to link actors and films together.